Inevitably, there's going to be times that you have to break a phone call to place another call on hold. And this is a real art because what you're trying to preserve is the conversation you're currently having while setting up the start of another friendly conversation and keeping those two things balanced without either person feeling undercared for. <laughs> so this is not an easy thing to do and it takes a little bit of practice to get really good at it. But what's important about doing this is that you wait for a natural break in conversation, that you don't interrupt a person mid-sentence or while they're talking to place another call on hold. That feels a lot like you're not listening to me or you're paying more attention to this other thing. But if you can be natural in the way you let the caller finish their sentence and then ask nicely if you can place them on hold just briefly while you place another call on hold, most patients, especially if you're having a nice interaction with them, will be patient enough to allow you to do that. They understand that our phone rings. And so if you can ask nicely, most callers will understand that you might have to take another call. Let's just take a look at what this might look like. Mrs. Thomas, would you prefer a morning or an afternoon? Morning? Okay, let's take a look and see what we have. Oh, Mrs. Thomas, do you mind if I place you on a brief hold momentarily while I answer another call and place them on hold? Then I'll be right back to help assist you. Thank you. One moment, please. I'll be right back. Once you have your caller on hold, you're gonna switch over and answer the next call with your normal greeting. So we still want your friendly, warm greeting. Thank you for calling Dr. Smith's office. This is Genevieve. And then our principles for asking permission to place our caller on hold come into place. And this is what that might sound like. One moment, please. I'll be right back. Hi, thank you for calling Ideal Dental. This is Brittany. I'm actually helping another caller at the moment. Do you mind if I place you on a brief hold and I'll be right back with you? Perfect, thank you. When clicking back to the first caller, you're going to wanna to say something like, thank you for your patience, Mrs. Jones. We're gonna to wanna to acknowledge that caller's name, right? So we hopefully haven't ever been into a phone call that long without getting the caller's name, but we're gonna thank them for their patience, which is almost a compliment to them and it's a positive attribute that they have, rather than saying something like, thank you for holding, which indicates that we were busy and we were interrupted. Mrs. Thomas, thank you for your patience. Let's go ahead and look at that schedule for the morning. And when your original call is complete, you're gonna to wanna to conclude that task very immediately and pick up the holding caller as soon as possible. You don't want to finish up your tasks or entering notes. Uh, let that wait because we have a person waiting and it feels very long on the other end. And when you pick up, you're gonna to wanna to start again with reintroducing yourself. Thank you so much for your patience. This is Genevieve. How can I help you today? If you were able to grab the person on hold's name, I would also incorporate that there as well. So thank you so much for your patience, Bill, right? Or if it's a caller that you knew, that can be a really nice, really nice touch. All right, Mrs. Thomas, well, we will see you Wednesday morning at nine o'clock. Perfect, thank you, bye-bye. Thank you for your patience. This is Brittany, how may I help you today? Again, this is an opportunity to use your best judgment in the patient interactions that you're managing and also understand your practice's policies around placing callers on hold. Uh, for example, a lot of offices would never want you to interrupt a new patient phone call to pick up another call, and I tend to agree with that as a, as a policy. A new patient phone call needs our undivided attention. It's our first connection with the person and interrupting it to pick up another call is less than ideal from a relationship establishing point of view. Uh, but every opportunity to place a caller on hold will require a little bit of judgment in the moment. In addition to using your best judgment, you might also wanna take a moment to understand your office's policies around placing callers on hold. Some offices, for example, will have a policy around not placing new calls, new patients on hold. And that makes a lot of sense, but just understand what the expectation is uh, for your position and for certain types of calls in your specific office.